CBI. Starting investigations in the neat paper leak issue, a two-member CBI team has now reached Patna. So CBI has taken over the investigation. Remember, there are two cases that are being probed by the CBI as we speak. One is, of course, the neat UG examination. And now they're trying to get to the bottom of the paper leak angle in Bihar as well. Uh, the other is, of course, uh, the net, the UGC net examination. That also is being looked at by the CBI. But let me go across to Anshul joining us live with more details. Anshul, the CBI team has now reached Patna. Tell us about you know, what's really going on at their end. The CBI has said that they're going to be looking at the larger conspiracy angle in the entire paper leak uh, issue. Uh, much of it, remember, is linked to the Bihar nexus, but there's an interstate gang which was being spoken of by the officials as well. The Economic Offences Unit of Bihar Police had also made a mention of the same. Uh, well, definitely, if you see, the CBI has started its investigation into this entire matter. Today, a two-member team of the Central Bureau of Investigation had reached Patna. After reaching Patna, they went to the Shastri Nagar Police Station. Remember, Shastri Nagar Police Station is the very same police station on which this FIR of paper leak was registered on the 5th of May. That is on the very day that this entire ex examination had happened. And post that, the Shastri Nagar Police had gone ahead and arrested 13 people in this entire matter, including the four students who had just walked out after giving the exams. Now, after visiting the Shastri Nagar Police Station, uh, the CBI CBI team, as we speak, is now in the Office of Economic Offences Unit. They are seeking details of the investigation that has been done by them because, remember, the CBI, is, as you rightly mentioned, is investigating the larger conspiracy in this entire matter. The interstate gang that has come out uh, in this entire matter is still a very uh, small part of the entire gang that might be operating across the country because what the EOU uh, has discovered that this interstate gang was operating from uh, was operating in Bihar as well as in Jharkhand because the paper leaks that happened uh, happened initially from Jharkhand. The photos of the papers were taken from Jharkhand out here in Hazaribagh and from Hazaribagh it was sent through WhatsApp to uh, to Patna where it was received by Chintu and from there the printouts were taken out and it was handed over to the to the students. So this entire chain has been established by the Economic Offences Unit. The Economic Offences Unit says that there could be a larger nexus that could be involved. Most states and more people could have also uh, could have also been involved in this enti entire nexus and that is the reason why the investigation has now been given to the Central Bureau of Investigation so that they could actually go ahead and unearth the larger conspiracy that is happening because remember uh, the complaints or the discrepancies have not only come out in Bihar and Jharkhand itself, but also in states like Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat. In all these states, there have been allegations of some sort of discrepancies, mm -hmm. be it of paper leak, be it of grace marking, or be, be it of uh, someone else coming in, coming in, uh, impersonating someone else and sitting and giving the exams as well. So all these allegations and all these different FIs that have been filed, the CBI team has been formed, and they are being sent to all these places so that they could take the initial information regarding the investigation that has happened. Mm -hmm. till now by the local agencies and post that they could go ahead and join the dots and and look at the larger conspiracy that might have taken place in mm -hmm. making sure that these neat papers are leaked and handed over to the uh, students before time.